Lesson planning can take a ridiculous amount of time, but tools like Google Gemini can help us literally cut that time in half. In this video, I'm going to show you ways in which Google Gemini can take your lesson planning and cut that time literally in half. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel. My name is Gabriel Carrillo. And if you'd like to learn more ed tech tips and cooking how to's, then make sure you click on that subscribe button. But for now, let's get lesson planning with Google Gemini. If you're not familiar with Google Gemini, it is a large language model AI tool, just like ChatGPT. It is a lot different than ChatGPT in certain ways because ChatGPT can only access information up until early 2022, at least if you're using the free version of it. However, Google Gemini does have access to the internet and that's one of the big differences. The free version of Google Gemini is pretty much the paid version of ChatGPT. So let's get lesson planning. I've got a Google Doc here. And if you do have Google Gemini available in your domain or on your personal account, then by all means use it and it'll show up as a help me write box or on the top right hand corner of any Google product, in this case, a Google Doc, you can click on that Ask Gemini. And what we're going to do is we are going to ask it for a particular lesson plan for a particular grade level. Now, when it comes to asking for things like lesson plans, there's a couple of factors that we want to put into play. What we want to do is be a prompt engineer by using the parts model when inputting into artificial intelligence. Parts stands for persona, aim, recipients, theme, and structure. So for persona, identify your role. This gives context to your request. For the aim, state your objective so Gemini can focus on your desired outcome. R is for recipients, specify your audience. This step gives Gemini the information it needs to tailor the language tone and content to resonate with recipients. And theme, describe the style, tone, and any related parameters. Structure is note the desired format for the output. Do you want it in bullet points, in code, or emojis? So make sure that you are doing using the parts method when inputting into any AI tool, specifically with Gemini. So here's my prompt. I am a fifth grade social studies teacher and I'm working on a lesson to help explain the father figures of the United States. Please come up with a sample lesson plan utilizing a Google Slides project for my fifth graders using the 5E lesson framework. This lesson should last two 40 minute sessions. Now let's take a look at that prompt and let's take a look at the parts model. If we take a look at those two, P, my persona, I've told it in this prompt that I am a fifth grade social studies teacher. My aim is that I'm working on a lesson to help explain the father figures of the United States. My recipients are right here, fifth graders using the 5E lesson framework. So it knows that my recipients are going to be those fifth grade students. The theme, I've asked it to give it to me in a Google Slides project for my fifth graders. So that's kind of like the theme of it. And then the structure is, I need it using the 5E lesson framework. That's a very specific framework when it comes to the lesson planning structure. So that is the structure that I want it in. And I also give it additional information by asking it to come up with this lesson that should last two 40 minute sessions. So this prompt, it's all five components of that parts framework. Let's go ahead and hit enter and see what Gemini comes up with. All right, let's take a look here. Founding fathers of the United States, grade level fifth, subject social studies. Let's go ahead and keep scrolling. Two 40 minute sessions. It's got my learning objectives. It's got my materials that we're gonna be using and needing and it's got the actual 5e components so let's get into it i've got my engage here i've got my explore explain elaborate and evaluate it also came up with some different suggestions for differentiation as well as some extension activities so i could then take this and literally copy it into uh, the clipboard and throw it somewhere else or i could literally just insert it right here directly within my google doc so now i have my lesson plan structure using that 5e model right here quickly using google gemini now i'm not going to use this as is i'm going to modify this so it meets my specific needs and my particular standards that i need to hit and the points that i need to touch upon so that is the one thing when utilizing ai 
in this case, Google Gemini, to, do, to help you with the lesson planning process, AI can do 80% of that front work for you. You now have to go in and put the other 20% of the effort into modifying this to fit the box that you need it to fit in and to check all those boxes that you need to check as the teacher. This is one quick lesson plan hack that you could use using Google Gemini within Google Docs. Stay tuned for future videos because I'm also going to be showing you how to utilize Gemini within other apps like Sheets and Google Slides. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, and make sure that you are subscribed. Hope you're off to a great school year, ladies and gentlemen, and buen provecho.